Hey there. I wanted to share how recently I noticed myself having a trauma response in my business. So if you are an entrepreneur of any sort, you know how dynamic it is to be in business for yourself. In that, it can really facilitate the shit out of you. It will show you everything you are being at any given moment. And now after completing, I'm like, I guess 14 months in or so, <laughs> I didn't realize the emotional journey and how much I would really learn about myself and how it was functioning. So basically, I've been on social media for a couple years now while I was still working my nine to five. And then last year, I went to taking Kreft's Couch full time and it went well. Well is like however you wanna say in this reality. In my first year, I had multi six figures. So I say that for a little context. Now that's kind of, it can be almost irrelevant depending on where you're at. Cause for some, wow, that's a lot of money. For others, it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. Just wanna caveat that. So I was probably in one of the months where I was having my, probably one of my highest months last year. And looking back on it now, I realized, wow, I was really relaxed, relaxed in a way that I had never felt before. Kind of like, wow, I just remember going out to dinner and be like, yeah, get whatever, order whatever. And normally I'm, I'm not a person that looks too closely at prices and things. And I know at times when I'm in a, you know, it's like, well, let's save $2 here and $4 there. And I can definitely get into that scarcity mindset. And there was just something different about my energy then. Because after that, the following couple months, I sought to recreate it, right? If you're in business, you know, it's like, okay, well, what strategy can I implement to recreate that? Let me recreate that. I'm going to do that again and do it again, do it again. Well, that didn't happen. There can be, you know, lots of reasons behind this. I was also thinking, well, I wonder if I kind of reached this almost like ceiling of what I was willing to receive, the amount I was willing to be abundant, right? Because it's kind of like as we continue to evolve, transform, we reach these kind of almost ceiling points where we feel like, oh, does it feel safe enough to go to the next level, to receive a ton more followers, right? If you were to all of a sudden have like a hundred thousand more followers, are you in a place or is your nervous system in a place that is ready to receive all the judgments that are projected at you? That's something to look at, right? And so it's the same thing with money and receiving money. And I was like, God, I wonder, you know, if I got kind of got to this point where I just, I just hit a limit. And so cut to today and like kind of the past couple months, I noticed myself really going into stress mode, going into a lot of scarcity. And again, it almost like worsened what was happening. And something I teach folks in business and just in life is to learn to trust you, to come back to what you know, not what everyone else is doing, not what everyone else says. What do you know? What's going to work for you? And I realized that I was not doing that. <laughs> I was like, how do I get the results? And how do I do the right strategy? And let me make my marketing just right, because this is what they say. And you really long landing page and you need to hit all these points. And it's just like, wait a second. <laughs> Last year, I created a business with knowing loosely some of those strategies, right? And mainly following just kind of the inspired pings to create. Now, I'm also getting that there was something about, oh, if I was mm, continuing, if I wanted to continue this way, it might not be sustainable in the sense that I was like create intuitively and there weren't a ton of systems in place. So I can appreciate where there really does need that, you know, masculine energy of the systems to kind of help support feeling safe to be in the creative and the flow. And so... I was doing a lot of stress and focusing on all the strategy and I was like, wow, I am literally going into a trauma response for this because I'm going into scarcity and I know scarcity from like the laws of the universe. I know scarcity isn't real. So what am I choosing here? 
what is the value in doing stress? Because if I chose to work for myself, I mean, what, what was the whole point? The whole point was to, you know, be able to have the freedom and enjoy what I'm doing and create what I want to create. So for what purpose would I choose stress, right? If I know, if I just had a year showing me that I can create offers, I can create things, I can sustain it for that amount of time, why couldn't I do it now? So what I got was as my body was going to stress response, like that was really familiar. It was almost as if I hadn't like integrated or been ready to really just be at that level of like the highest month level in the previous year. And so I had to almost go back to what was familiar to like start creating stress again, like, oh, money's really hard to make, or I got to work really hard or like prove it. Prove what? Prove to myself what? that I'm, I'm right for working hard or I'm right, you know, to be successful in business, to, you know, suffer through it. That's the right thing to do. That's the admirable thing to do. This is where you got to look at what are your points of view because they will show up to you in your reality and especially in your business. So when I kind of, bing, <laughs> woke up, like a uh, couple, like couple month fog I was in with this. I was like, wait a second. If I've, you know, learned all this stuff and especially what I teach, right? And when you teach something, you know that it like will facilitate you as well. Because if you're not being it, it will like be like a big giant red siren. I was like, okay, let's go back to exactly what I teach, which is returning inward, trusting the self, and starting to create the reality I desire. And if the reality I desire is ease and abundance, then who would I be if I had that now? And it kind of clicked one day and I was like, okay, well, I just have to choose relaxation. I have to just choose it. No matter what is right in front of my 3D reality, because my 3D reality is old news. The 3D reality, what I'm seeing right now is how I've been being the past couple months. And what will change that is for me to change internally. So even though I'm not seeing it now, I have to be that most abundant month right now. Choose it. And I just remember one evening being like, recently, I, that's it. I'm choosing relaxation. I'm choosing it. Now, side note, relaxing in your business doesn't mean like, oh, I'm just going to go like binge TikTok or <laughs> Netflix or something like that. It just means I can take inspired action and a force. I can follow the energy, get back to what I know, which is following my internal guidance system. And ironically, or not at all, I chose it one evening. I'm like, that's it. I'm relaxing. And I really felt my body just, oh, yes, please. Can we just chill? And what happened the next day, multiple sales came through that just like boop, popped me out of scarcity. And I was like, <laughs> well, <laughs> I love when it can happen that fast. And what else is possible? But ultimately, what I want you to take away from this is, yes, strategies and systems and all those things are really helpful to learn along the way, right? Because there's things that have worked time and time again for multiple different people. What you got to keep in mind, though, is you are the unique energetic signature blueprint and not everyone's strategy that worked for them and had them hit their seven figure year is going to work for you. And so with all this stuff, you kind of have to try it on for size. It's like when you go try on clothes. Does this fit? Does this feel good? Does my body like it? Like, do I feel good in it or not? Is it constricting? Like it's not. And if it's not working for you. Would you be willing to come back to you? And what would that create? 